Let's shift gears and talk a little bit about mycoplasma pneumonia. And I think this is a confusing area and an area where the evidence in pediatrics is only just starting to getting generated. And it's maybe showing that this isn't as big a problem as we might have suspected. First, you will have heard children under five don't get mycoplasma. That's not true. They do, but at a lower rate. And there have been outbreaks where they get them at the same rate. So it really depends on what's going on. Next, you may have heard that mycoplasma pneumonia causes walking pneumonia. So if they're walking around, that's probably mycoplasma. Okay, yes, but it also causes, for example, asthma exacerbations where there's no more pneumonia at all, or it can cause a low bar pneumonia. So you really don't know what's a mycoplasma pneumonia and what's not based on history. Next, you may have heard that mycoplasma pneumonia has a typical diffuse patterned X-ray appearance. Simply not true. It can look any way it wants. In fact, in one study, 10% of pneumonias with mycoplasma had an effusion. Next, there's a myth, and I'm saying this, that it responds to azithromycin. We have no evidence that mycoplasma pneumonia gets better with azithromycin in children. It may well be that it gets better because of anti-inflammatory uh, properties of azithromycin. So it's unclear that even treating mycoplasma makes a difference. The reality is mycoplasma largely gets better on its own. It follows a pattern more typical of viral illness. It's less likely to actually need antimicrobials. Mycoplasma, if you do wish to test it, is best tested in most centers by simply, a, simply checking for a rise in titers. But the problem is you need the second set of titers something like six weeks later. So what's the point in making a diagnosis six weeks after you've already treated the illness? There is a rapid viral PCR that is available and it seems to roughly correlate with disease. So if you have that, you could certainly get it. But the typical clinical picture of mycoplasma is largely unproven. And most children have viruses and get better while on azithromycin because the viruses got better. And kids who aren't treated probably get better on, his own, on its own. So it's not clear that mycoplasma is as big a deal as we think it is, and you probably can miss the diagnosis just fine. Azithromycin, you generally will treat for a five-day course. Azithromycin is not effective against other bacterial causes. So if you think this might be pneumococcus, you'd be wiser to treat the pneumococcus than the mycoplasma. It's unclear who we should treat and who we should not treat, and whether azithro even affects the course of illness. It does kill bacteria in vitro, but in vivo, seems to be, uh, the infection seems to be more of a post-infectious inflammatory condition in many settings of mycoplasma, especially ADEM and other diseases that happen after the disease. The lung disease, it may be beneficial or not, and there actually is some evidence that maybe steroids would be effective for mycoplasma pneumonia. That really hasn't been studied. I wouldn't recommend it, but keep on mind that might be on the horizon.